Here come the boys then for maybe the biggest game of our season. In fact, definitely the biggest game of our season. What's up guys, Joe here. Welcome back to my channel and today we are back with FC Nordland here on FM21. And today it is all about the Champions League for the first time in this series. So as you can see, we are set to face off against Slavia Prague from the Czech Republic in the Champions Path playoff. So we really need to make it to the group stages. It's going to be massive for the club. Uh, the finances, the reputation, it is crucial we try and get to the group stages this season. Now, we do have a few transfers to cover, some exciting ones as well. But firstly, Goldstorff, our backup goalkeeper, he's gone out on loan to another first division team, which could be pretty good for his development. We've also signed Mohamed Beck. I mean, he came in for free from a, a smaller Danish club. He's not great, but he has some decent potential. We'll see how he gets on. However, the main signing guys of the transfer window for us so far, Emiliano Marsondes, I believe you say, 26 years old. He is Danish and he is an FC Nordjylland legend really already. He has played over 100 games for the club. He went to Brentford. Um, of course, he went to Mitjylland as well on loan, but he didn't really play in the championship for Brentford last season. Um, and we managed to bring him in for a free transfer. You can see he's got a few goals already. We'll see how he's got on exactly and how we've got on um, in the games we've played in a moment. But Marsondes, a really talented player, 26 years old, like I said. For a free transfer, I think it's great business. Now, he is on six and a half grand per week, which obviously is quite a lot for a club of our size. But... As he was free, I deemed it worthwhile. I mean, he's not the quickest, but technically and mentally, to be fair, he's very gifted. I brought him in mainly as a central midfielder, but he can play up front very well too. So like I said, you have just seen he scored three goals. Let's see exactly how we've got on in our games off camera. So we start away to Sonda Erske. And let me tell you, this is the craziest game of Football Manager I can remember playing. Jonathan Amon got us off to a good start um, early on in the first half. Mosondes, this was his debut and he did start up front. Atanga, remember, is still injured at this time. But Sonder Erske did score, I think, right on the stroke of half time. Very frustrating there. And then they got another goal quickly after to go 2 1 up here in the 55th minute. Not ideal for us at all. Abu Francis, though, steps up. Uh, the keeper makes a save, but Jonathan Eamon with his second of the game there on the rebound to all. And I felt like pushing for the winner. Now, important to note, they did pick up a red card. We pushed on at this stage, but Sonder Erske do score on the counter. 3-2 to them in the 91st minute. But we went so attacking, we threw everyone forward. As you can see right here, Abby Francis nicks it back. We have so many players forward, but Jonathan Eamon with a great finish. His hat-trick to equalise in the 92nd minute, but we didn't stop there. We continued pressing. Kufod picks up the ball, plays it to Oliver Rimmon, who scores the winner less than a minute after Jonathan Eamon got the goal to equalise easily. The craziest game of football manager I remember playing. You can see Eamon and Rimmon literally scoring in the same minutes. A crazy game, but we did get our first win of the season. We then did follow that up at home to Mitch Island. Of course, a big game for us. We've struggled against them really overall, but great to see Mar Sondes get his first goal again, starting up front here because of a Tanga's injury. Um, and it was a great start for us really to settle the nerves against the team. We've really struggled against then Marsondes, only 10 minutes later, half an hour into the game, he's got brace already against Mitch Island, and we only made matters worse for them when I think Max Waledzi got the header there to make it 3-0 in the first half. You love to see it, you really do. And that was game set and match, really. We did manage to add another Isaac Tanga on his injury comeback, coming on on the right wing today, and he got a beautiful goal right there. 4-0 to Mitch Island, what a result. We then went away to Esbjerg, who are a team who got promoted last season alongside Silkeborg, and then we got a great goal there. Abby Francis, what a run that was, and what a pass by Magnus Kufod there. Esbjerg did get one back from the penalty spot inside the first 10 minutes, but it didn't really matter. Kamuzin Sulemana, you can see, he's been so inconsistent throughout the save, but a great run here, great pass. Marsondes does get his third goal of the season, putting us almost immediately back in front. This would be the final goal of the game then, 25th minute. It was a quiet second half and final hour, really. Abby Francis second and a nice 3-1 win to round things off. So as I say, it was a crazy few games, but three wins in total. Um, but of course, today is about 
the European fixtures. I mean, we are sitting nice in the league after a pretty worrying start, it must be said. So here we go, guys. Our lineup starting in the first leg at home to Slavia. And it's been a really difficult one because Atanga has only played a select few minutes off the bench in both games so far this season he's been fit for. While Sondes has been the man starting up front. But I am going to move him back to midfield today. We are going to put our main man, Isaac Katanga, in for his first start of the season. Longer term, I'm thinking maybe Marsondes can move uh, up top and Atanga maybe out to the right wing. Eamon has been good, but he is a bit inconsistent. His mentals are pretty shocking, to be fair. Um, but Tanga not quite natural in that position yet. But anyway, he starts up front today. Here we go then, guys. One of the biggest games, one of the biggest ties of the save thus far. It's so crucial for us to try and get to that Champions League group stage this year, I feel. You can see the Slavia lineup right here. I have checked. That loss, I think, was in European competition. They've won every game so far in the league so this is going to be difficult KG affair so far then haven't seen much action but now we nick the ball Jonathan Eamon on the counter can we capitalize here Camel Dean Sulemana on the left hand side of the pitch out to Svensson getting forward well here back to Camel Dean can he create something Kufod arriving late it hits the post and goes wide oh that was a really really good effort the thing is it's crucial for us not to concede today more than anything or concede as few as we can as Mosondes shoots wide. Now the game does seem to have burst into life just a little here. Slavia on the ball though. I have moved from positive to balance just to try and stay solid more than anything today. Tycosin, that is so bad. You need to get there really. Linga is in behind. Well, Leslie does clear though. It's a close game so far. 50% possession either way. Um, no real massive chances. Only one shot on target for us so far. Of course, we did have that chance hitting the post with Kufo, but this first half, very cagey. So we're in at the break, nil, nil right now. I'm not sure what I can change, if anything. Eamon's having a poor game, so is Mos Sondes. I may move a Tanga. In fact, we'll do it now. We'll move a Tanga out wide. He can't really play there just yet. Um, I may push him forward, actually, like this. Let's do that. We'll play him there for now, and I am going to move Mos Sondes up front whilst putting on, I think we'll put on Chukwani in the centre of midfield. So shaking things up just a little bit to start this second half. Um, hopefully we can catch them off guards, maybe um, as a tanga now with the ball early in this winger position, moving out to the right-hand side. Can he create anything here? Atanga does well, dispossessed though. Now Slavia though, with the throw in, this, oh, this is dangerous. If they go one up, we're in trouble. Great block there. Let's continue defending well, boys. Come on, men behind the ball. But Mosonde is now up top. That is a great ball, though, as to the left-hand side of the pitch. We're defending well. I mean, we look structured defensively, but so much space now on the wings for massive puts right there. Stanchu now puts the ball in. Tycosin should deal with it, but so many chances seem to be coming their way, or at least so much of the ball. Okay, entering the final half an hour very shortly. Stanchu clears. We do pick up fairly easily. Well, let's see. Francis into Isaac Atanga. Back to Tycosin. Back to Atanga. Can we create anything here? We're in their box. Is it a penalty? Seems a fair tackle. Tycosin on the ball. Gives it to Atanga. It's a weak effort. Oh, if we go... A 1-0 here is massive for us. A 0-0 is fine. A 1-0 is so, so good. Let's deal with that. And we do. Not working at that time, though. Sevich. Stanchio on the ball for Slavia. He's a very creative player. Very good on the ball if I'm not mistaken here. Now Linga dribbles past one. I think Kufod, he's gone past right there. Let's hold him up here. Don't let him get a ball in. And he's skipped past his man. Gets the ball in. He's hit the post. He should have scored there. He really should have. But now we have a free kick. Abu Francis on the edge of the box. Come on. Let's go. Abu Francis with a massive, massive goal here for FC Norgeland. That is huge. He has a knack right now of scoring from set pieces. It's Pretty much perfectly positioned right there. Whips it round. Keeper nowhere near it. Come on. So I've changed our system again. Christensen is going to go defensive midfield. On for Francis. Bit more defensive. Let's make sure we don't concede right now. 70th minute then. We're still holding firm. Rimmon is now on for Camaldine on the left midfield position. Svensson over the top. Marsondes does win it here. And it's a pretty ambitious effort. Well wide. <laughs> here we are though. Linga on the edge of the box. If we can frustrate them here. Oh. Christensen, what was that? You can see why he's getting poor ratings with passes like that. What is that, man? I mean, they still... That is their first shot on target. They've literally just had in that highlights. We've done well defensively here. 10 more minutes. Now, well into the final 10 minutes of this game. Well, let's see. Up to Marsondes. We need to get to that second ball. And we do. Christensen 
Chokuani, a Tanga now. Can he create anything on the right-hand side today? That is not what we're looking for. Oh, Tycosin, get back in position, my man. Get back immediately. Oscar on the ball for Slavia. I think a substitute. Bringing it forward now. Kuchta skips past his man. Jensen does well. That was that was very close. So we have two minutes left to play here. Well, let's see. Out to Atanga. If we can hold on for this result, this is going to be absolutely huge. Another puts us in an unreal position. Tycosin right now bringing the ball forward. If we can grab a second, I'm going to go absolutely crazy. Kufod, Atanga has to score. Has to score. He's literally on the six-yard box. Doesn't finish. Let's hold on. Four minutes of added time. The, the time has ticked away here. And it, I hope the ref is going to blow the whistle very quickly. And they don't grab a last minute equaliser. We get the ball back. That should uh, be it for today. And it is a great first leg result. 1-0. Let's go. On the whole, a very close game. Very, very few chances overall. But I think we deserve the win. Okay, guys. One week later, we have made a signing. An additional signing. We still have some transfer business going on in the backgrounds. But Luka Rasic, another signing from Brentford. But this man came in for a fairly cheap deal. 200, 300k. He's a squad player, really, but still 22 years old. He can play with the ball at his feet fairly well, too, which, for me, was really important for our defenders. He's good mentally, very good mentally, solid physically as well. Um, and at that price, I thought, let's bring him in. We needed some more depth after the sale of Kian Hansen, and I think Rasic is going to do the job more than well enough for us. And I did actually throw him in straight away at home to AC Horsens, a game which started with a wonder goal by Magnus Kofod. What a goal that was. Unbelievable strike uh, from him there. Atanga on the attack now in the second half for us. Ibrahim Sadiq, I think his first appearance of the season. We rotated a little bit in this one ahead of, of course, this Champions League game against Lavia. And then Rasic did score on his debut as well uh, to make it 3-0. A solid win for us in the league. Here we go then. Here is our lineup, guys. Back to really our starting 11. Chukwani comes in this time, though in central midfield. Christensen, by the way, was... Uh, we had an offer from Newcastle for around £4 million for Jakob Christensen. I would happily sell him because he just can't perform for us, but I want upwards of £10 million probably. He's on the bench today, and it's a similar or a familiar starting 11 for us with a tanga up front. Marsondes does have a little knock. He starts on the bench. Here come the boys then for maybe the biggest game of our season. In fact, definitely the biggest game of our season thus far. We're underway and if we score a goal, Slavia need three. So Havorka lumps it forward here. Well, Ledzi does miss it. Stanchi was in behind early on here. That was almost the worst possible start. Let's try and keep a clean sheet at least for the first 45. Sevcic though on the ball. Jensen heads clear. But we are really feeling this pressure early on away from home in the Czech Republic. Chukwani clears. But we're going to continue to press quite high and try and catch them on the counter. Now Eamon in behind a tanga. Really on the counter. We need him to be great today for us. Let's try and get to that uh, loose ball. Maybe not. So we do pick up the ball here. Kufod, Chukwani in some space in that Mazala role. Jensen hoofs it forward now to Kamalzin. Does give it away to be fair. Pull ball there by Jensen. Van Buren in behind now. Surely he has to score. Vindal saves again. We are really, really giving them some great chances early on. Let's see what they can do as well from this corner kick. Sevcic over the ball here for Slavia. Vindal collects. Okay, still inside the first 10 minutes. Well, let's see. Over the ball. Vindal clears to Chukwani. We have some space on the left. Not anymore, though. Francis does find Kamaldeen. Knocks it to Isaac. A tanga. And he gets the goal. Come on. That is a massive goal. Isaac Tanga, our talisman up top. His second goal of the season. That is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. They now need three goals to come back in this tie. Assuming we don't score again, I think it was a defensive error, really. And a tanga capitalises. Let's go! So still, just 10 minutes gone in this game. Jonathan Eamon, Tycosin now on the right wing-back position. Francis getting forward, Tycosin. Let's pile on the misery if we can for Slavia. Tycosin, it falls to Camelstein. He cannot miss. Let's go! 2-0 Norgeland on the night. 3-0 over two legs and that is absolutely huge they have literally self-capitulated right there Abby Francis Tycosin he gets the ball in was it the keeper Kolar who made the error I mean they get in each other's way it's Kolar and the defender 
uh, massive puss as well. We're not complaining at all. Again, we have another chance here, 23 minutes into this game, but they do clear. Chukwani should get there, doesn't they? Sevcic picks it up for Slavia. Provod now. Let's make sure we don't concede if we can, potentially. We are in a very comfortable position, but things can change quickly in European football, that's for sure, against this type of quality opposition. And with those type of quality passes, for sure, but, uh, Van Buren puts it wide. By the way, I forgot to mention, Mitchell and as well are trying to qualify tonight for the group stages. Would be good for the coefficient if they win their tie, I think, against Dynamo Kiev. But now, back to this game, Kofod, Chukwani. Let's try and break that midfield line. And we do so there. Camelzine out to Svensson. Plenty of space for the Swedes. On the left side of the pitch, Abby Francis straight at the keeper. So Linga now bringing the ball forward for Slavia. Kufo gets a great tackle in. Great tackle there by Kufod. He does get the ball. Svensson though does give it away. That was poor play. Very poor play. Sevcic very far away from punishing us though. So Vindal does clear the ball to Svensson this time. Let's see if he can distribute well on this occasion. Should go down the line and he does. Camelzine. Maspus does intercept fairly easily though. Sevcic up to, I think, Malinsky. Dribbles past one, does very well here, does Malinsky. But shots from that type of range, I was going to say we can deal with them, although that was very close. Slavia now then do get a free kick opportunity. Sevcic puts the ball in. Let's try and deal with this. It, oh, it's an absolute mess. Absolute mess. Oscar scores for Slavia. They're still in this tie, just about. 74th minute then, we're still 2-1 up on the night. They still need three goals, I think, so we should be okay here. Camaldine, especially the case if Atanga can add to his tally right here. Kolar just about makes the save. Very good save as well. Oh, yes, guys. The clock is ticking away into added time right now, and we're going to do it. We're going to make it to the Champions League group stage in the second season here with FC Norgeland. A massive moment for the club. Kolar picks the ball up. This is huge. I am so happy. This was crucial in really the progress we're making in this save. We want to dominate Denmark, but we also want to have a real presence for Denmark and the club in Europe. And we really have that now. A great performance away from home today. And looking at the other scores, Mitchelland make it through as well. Sorry, Kaba in extra time, getting the winner against Dynamo Kiev. Two Danish sides in the group stages. You love to see it. This is why it was so important, guys. £14 million pounds for qualifying for this stage. That is absolutely massive. Some of you guys have asked about the finances. You can see we're doing very well right now. We don't really need to sell, um, as you can see, 24 million in the bank. So guys, we'll end the episode with the Champions League group stage draw. As you would expect, the top teams in the pots. We have Barcelona, second pot, by the way. A bit of a surprise to me. We are, of course, the bottom seeds. Look at our coefficient compared to everyone else. Even behind Trabzonspor, Mitch Jarland here as well. Let's see how this goes. So right now I've drawn the first three seeds. And looking at it, I mean, every group star. Group B could be quite nice. Um, yeah, Group G as well. I think if we get Group B or Group G, that'll be our best shots. So let's turn it to automatic draw and see how this goes. Lil into Group A. Group B, I wouldn't mind. Milan are drawn. Group C. Okay, Real Madrid, Man United and RB Salzburg. It's it's a difficult draw, let's be real. Mitch Island, get Liverpool as well, but that is one of the harder groups in my opinion. We'll give it our best shot. So guys, I think it's only just that we do come back for our first game in the Champions League against RB Salzburg. We have Real Madrid as well at the end of the month. Maybe we can do a double header with those games. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, we want to we want to have our first Champions League group stage game on camera, surely. Real Madrid as well. We're going to Old Trafford, the Bernabeu. This is going to be a fun time for the club. We may well have some more transfer business as well. But guys, if you enjoyed, make sure you absolutely smash that like button. Drop a sub on the channel if you're new. Make sure you're following me over on Twitch as well. We're streaming some Sparta Rotterdam right now. I'll see you guys in the next one.